During the rule of Chandragupta and Bindusar, Kalinga dynasty was a powerful and independent nation. But in the eighth year of Ashoka's reign i.e. 261 AD, the Kalinga invaded and conquered. His 13th stone rule describes the exciting events of the Kalinga Wars 100,000 people were killed in this war. One and a half million people were captured and sent into exile, and nearly as many died of injuries, disease, or starvation in the aftermath of the war. The Kalinga War was a turning point in Buddhism and the history of the world. Ashoka was deeply saddened and regretted by the outcome of this war. Realizing that the real victory is not the victory of the violent sword, but the conquest of the human heart, Ashoka abandoned his weapon. Ashoka converted to Buddhism after coming in contact with a Buddhist monk named Upagupta. After that, with truth and non-violence, he dedicated himself to win the human heart. War background According to political scientist Sudama Mishra, Kelling Janpad originally consisted of the area covered by Puri and Ganjam districts. The reason for the Kaling invasion was to bring peace and power Bistara Kariba. Kalinga was a prosperous region with peaceful and artistically talented people. They used the first navies from the region and traveled offshore to Southeast Asia for trade. Because of that, the Kalinga was able to develop many ports and a skilled navy. The culture of Kalingas was a mixture of jungle tribalism and peaceful coexistence of Hinduism until their fall in 321 BCE, the Kalinga was ruled by the Nanda Empire who ruled the region from their capital at Magadha. Ashoka's grandfather Chandragupta Maurya had earlier attempted to conquer the Kalinga but Asafala Hoytail, as soon as he had established himself securely as emperor, Ashoka set about conquering the Kalinga and incorporating it into the vast Mauryan Empire. Some scholars argue that the Kalinga were a strategic threat to the Mauryas. This hindered communication between the Mauryan capital of Pataliputra and its possessions in the central Indian subcontinent at Karuthila. The Kalinga also controlled the coast for trade in the Bay of Bengal.